What's up everybody, welcome to another video here on All Us Outdoor Adventures. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit more about camping. Uh, last time we went out camping, I hooked up the water and I had a leak coming in through the uh, bedroom. And after coming back, uh, we found out that water heater went out. So I'm going to show you step by step how to replace the water heater on an RV almost all the, st the all the steps are similar for almost any RV so um, hopefully this video would help you out again if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing uh, also hit the bell button so you can get notified anytime I upload a video my channel it's uh, more about tips and tricks for fishing camping and hunting uh, all my faithful subscribers welcome back and hope you like this video as well and uh, stick around All right, let me explain a little bit more. When we went out camping, um, I hooked up, hooked up the water uh, into the main line. And over here by the bedroom side, we started seeing water coming out through the bottom. So we ended up not having water that day. I mean, we did, we had a bucket, but we did not use any of the lines in on the RV. We had a really, really bad winter this was our first winter that it actually snowed and there was snow for like three or four days here in uh, Fort Worth, Texas and that's what blew out the, the water heater. Since it's aluminum, it still had uh, water in it and it just busted through the middle. Um, I'm not a welder, I could have probably just welded. Like I said, I'm not a welder. That's why I just replaced the whole thing. And uh, you'll see step by step everything that I do. Uh, what parts to take out, which you can leave on there if you're just changing out the, the water heater unit. Uh, but um, so here you have it, and I uh, hope you like it. All right, so first it's uh, trying to locate this panel door or something similar. That's where your water he heater element is at. There's the uh, release valve, the pressure release valve. There's a knob at the bottom that uh, you can release water as well. And uh, just taking a look at the vicinity of the RV, where is that located? The access point is going to be closer to that. For me, it's this door panel. Uh, there I could see there's four screws in there. So I'm going to take those off. And as soon as those come off, then um, I get access to the water tank and all the hoses and all the electric parts of it. So I'm going to take this panel off for now. And I have my kids uh, on the water hose, and they're going to turn it on while I inspect where the water's coming out from. Uh, that way I could start up um, trying to find the issue. And as you can see right here in a bit, the water starts leaking from the middle of the water tank. So it's not the hoses. I got that out of the way. So I, there, I told them to shut the water off, and um, you can see, as soon as I take the towel away from it, you can see still see still see the leak coming out. I'm going to just leave that towel in there for a bit while it uh, finished uh, getting rid of the water that's, that came in. So now I'm back in the outside. Uh, there's a lot of screws that I'm going to have to take off. Then using a putty knife, I'm going to take all the uh, glue that holds the door together or the glues the door together and get all of that out getting all the styrofoam out and then finally getting the water tank out uh, you got to be very careful on making sure that you know where what parts are you disconnecting and from where because it's crucial by putting them back uh, there I figured where the issue was so the uh, issue was the water tank itself. Uh, for now, I'm going to be taking a picture of the serial number, part number, and all that good stuff uh, because I'm going to have to order one. I mean, uh, I decided I wasn't going to weld it. I, I, first of all, I don't know how to weld. 
So there's a lot of components coming off. I'm going to be disassembling the heating element, uh, the covers and all that stuff. This water, I mean this ring here, locking ring, man, it's, it, it was horrible. It was a nightmare taking it off and putting it back on. Anywho, I got the water tank out. And uh, here you can see where all the welding came off. And uh, it was pretty big. I mean, I didn't realize how much weather affected these. Uh, even with the styrofoam, I mean, it still had water. But uh, this is the part. I mean, this is the, the one I got, the replacement. I mean, even though it says Atwood on the uh, description, it's not an Atwood. The original that came in with the RV was an Atwood. But um, I guess they're not in business anymore, so Dometic took over. So here's a new water tank, similar to the other one. And it comes with a couple of accessories. Uh, here are the um, instructions, but I won't be needing that because I'm going to be connecting all the parts back together. So it's exactly the same, but a different brand. Um, this water pressure release valve I'm going to be using. I thought I was going to use the one I had on the other tank, but... Um, it comes with the new one, so might as well just put the new one in there. I have some washers and locking rings, and I'm just uh, making sure everything fits right in. Uh, afterwards, I sort of wish I would have just assembled everything there. As you can see, I'm going to be having much more issues while trying to assemble everything in the RV. Uh, but th there I am. Uh, I'm going to go one by one. Every cable I disconnect from the old connection, I'm going to put the new connection in there. The cables are same color coded, so um, there's not a lot that you have to do other than uh, unplug and plug back. So I'm going to start with the black one and uh, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make the, the disposed wire or exposed wire longer that way i'll have a better connector onto the other wire uh cut a little bit of the plastic off and then uh put uh, both plastics together and uh wrap it around once i do that i'm gonna get a cap and uh tighten it up a little bit more and I'm going to do that with all of the wires as well. And then I'm going to put some tape around it, around the cap and the wire. That way they'll uh, stay more in place. Here are extra wires uh, for connectors that go into the uh, door panel. This yellow wire also goes to that one box inside the, uh, or behind the water tank so that one i'll be putting back when i have the tank inside the rv uh believe it's for the powering unit inside the bathroom so all of the existing connections are that's i'm going to be using the same ones and uh, uh just matching them by color so here i'm going to put the water tank back in and uh, pull on the cables, make sure they're loose and not all packed in while I uh, start uh, doing other, or connecting the other cables. So here these were the existing wires. I mean, I just disconnected them to get the water tank out uh, at the beginning. So I'm gonna just connect them back according to their colors. And the same, I'm going to get a cap and do them all and then uh, wrap some tape around them. That way they'll be tight and secure and not uh, coming loose while traveling or while it's being in use. So there I'm putting the, the tape back. Like I said, very important, make sure that you 
either take pictures as you go or if you're using this video uh, hit pause and then you can see what uh, or go back to the beginning to see what I um, disconnected or uh, just basically just hit pause and um, go on from there do your stuff come back to the video and hit play again so I'm going to be removing all the, this uh, silicone with a putty knife clean it all out at first I started putting it back on the RV but I saw it slipping so I ended up just putting it on the cover because you see there the cover um, panel and uh, it was much more easier just giving a little room for the screws to go in and this is why I said I'd wish I did it all or put it all back together while while I had it on the bench out but um, uh, it's too late now I have all the connections or all the, the electric components and all that stuff connected and didn't want to go back and undo them and do all that stuff so here I can see from the old link uh, ring washer goes in first uh, or felt I don't know uh, what's it called and then the locking ring goes on top now the locking ring you really can't just force it in with your hand it's impossible so I got a mallet and sort of like a chisel uh, started guiding it down until I started uh, got it all the way in and uh, locked it into place and here I'll show you on the other side how I'm doing it just making sure that everything's snug before I even start uh, attempt to put the locking ring so like I said the first one the first the washer goes first and then you'll see me uh, trying to put the locking ring on uh, I start off putting it through the bigger side of it first uh, and then pound it down a little bit uh, from each side and this would help the locking ring to open up as it's needed for it to go down um, perfectly uh, now you got to be careful with these because if you hit it too hard or you don't have the right tools like I don't have the right tools but uh, it'll start tearing up on you but the good thing is that there's a lot that come in with the unit so if you screw up once then you have enough uh, replacement parts to uh, keep on going or use the other one so now with both locking rings in place um getting all, all of it back in together uh making sure all the cables are um out of the way that i don't have i don't leave a uh that they're not all scrambled inside uh and i'm just uh, gonna start screwing it back together screwing the panel back up together and uh securing it in place now remember i did put some uh what you might call it that um I forgot the name of it. Uh, I did put it all around the the cover, so it's uh, the one that helps it um, glue together. So let's call it glue for now. And I'm uh, putting everything back. I mean, I put the cover. I mean, this little cover. That's where all the vapor or the hot uh, air vapor release comes out. So I need to put that in that way it goes out properly through the vents I mean the heating element I also make sure it's up in it um, and screwed in uh, I make sure that the high pressure release valves it's nice tight and snug and here I'm connecting the um, uh, propane line because uh, this unit ha you could uh, heat up water with either electricity or with uh, propane once I got everything from there back into place then I just lock this door or close this door and go back in the inside and start putting everything back together inside so here's the yellow cable that I was mentioning earlier uh, he asked I could have put it in through where the other cables were going out of uh, that way I would close that door and it won't be open 
but um, hey, nobody's gonna see it afterwards. Uh, here are two um, extra connectors or fittings. I don't know how you call them, but I took these out from the other uh, water tank and uh, put some Teflon tape and uh, secured them into place. Did the top one and then I'm gonna do the bottom one. And this is where I tell you, make sure everything matches up to how you took it off. I mean, the uh, for this case, on this RV, the water, the hot water, it's on top, cold water in the bottom. Uh, also, follow your lines. That will give you the best indication. Like this one, it's coming from the blue, so I match it to the uh, blue hose in the bottom. Um, you can't miss it. Once you have all the connections in, I mean, just double check. I had my kids turn the water on again, and I spent some time right there trying to make sure that there was no other leak. And uh, after I saw no leak, that was it. Just put the cover back on and uh, enjoy camping. All right, magic tricks. So here I have a deck of cards. And uh, can you pick a card up? And show it to the camera. And then uh, put it here. And now you're gonna cut it anywhere you want. There. So here I'm gonna put the cards back on top. So, little recap, you chose the card anywhere you want it, and uh, there should be one card face up. Once we get to it, here it is, the seven of clubs. Now, I didn't say that was going to be your card, but if we count seven, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Was that your card? So there you have it. All right, everybody, so there you have it. Hopefully you learned how to replace a water heater. Like I said earlier, uh, all the steps are similar to almost any RV. It's just the location where it's at and probably like the dimensions of it. There's waterless uh, water heaters up to 10 or 12 gallons uh, water heater for all the RV units. But, uh, Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you at the outdoors.